much exactly did Kettleman get away with? Um, excuse me, innocent until proven guilty? Uh, excuse me, but I'm a taxpayer in this county. I think I have a right to know. And besides, it's not like I'm his lawyer or anything. I have to go to sleep. So do you. I know you have court in the morning. He got away with a million, million six, at least. I'm not talking details of the case with you. Good night. Where do you stash all that dough? I mean, besides for buying that idiotic boat. Hello? Guilty. Hanging up now. This guy's, yeah, he's probably a target. Somebody might get some bad, bad ideas. You know, if Kettleman isn't careful with that money, I mean, his whole family could be in danger. What do you mean, danger? Jimmy, why would you say that? What? You said the family might be in danger. I did? I... I... <clears throat> I'm, I'm drunk. <laughs> so, I'm just, uh... I'm thinking out loud. I'm, I'm not spinning, uh... I'm spinning thoughts. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I will see you down in the court bowels manana. Good night, Kim. Good night, Jimmy. I'm sorry, what? Craig, who is it? I am not sure. Wait, say, say that again, please. Yeah, what are you trying to say? This is a warning. You're in danger. The this is a friendly stranger. Your whole family is in danger. The money. The money. You have a terrible connection. Can you call back on a better line? Kettleman's, you're in danger. They're coming for your money. Bye. What did he say? We're in danger. They're coming. Who? Who's coming? Not even close. Yes, it is. Look. No, no, it's way more sassafras glow. 
Way more. Use your eyes. Strawberry feels forever. Ladies, back me up. Hey, is it sassafras glow? Am I right? Or maybe Rhapsody and Blonde. But yeah, see, they agree with me. Whatever happened to the customer is always right. Sassafras glow. Mix it up, all right? You're wrong, you see. Big deal. I'll wash it out in the morning. Big it's bleach. It doesn't wash out. What? It's permanent? We'll Photoshop the color, OK? Change of plan, ladies. I want to go with a uh, simple curling iron job, OK? Uh, give me, like, ringlets, you know, on top. Like uh, Tony Curtis in Spartacus. Yeah. Like the bath scene in Spartacus. Stop talking about it. Make me beautiful already. of James M. McGill, Esquire, a lawyer you can trust. Kindly leave your information at the tone, and Mr. McGill will phone you promptly. Hey, uh, it's me. <laughs> Hi. Anyway, uh, The Thing is playing downtown on Saturday. Thought you might be up for some Kurt Russell action. I owe you one, so why don't we just grab some dinner first, my treat? And, uh, you know, if not, can you give me a call anyway? I really want to talk to you. Okay. Uh, bye. Come in. Hey. 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 How goes it? Uh, tricky. For sure. Craig and Betsy really put us in a corner with the police. Not to mention the press. But this camping story of theirs, they've been keeping it consistent, at least. If it's okay with you, I think I should try to talk them into hiring a PR firm. Certainly for the next couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. So, okay on the PR firm? Do you have a minute? Yeah, of course. What's up? Take a ride with me. Uh, okay. Uh, where are we going? That's, I mean, that's my suit, right? Am I crazy here? No, you're not crazy. Look at the logo. That's our logo. He's just straight up copying us. I mean, what the hell is he thinking with this? Really, he's, you know, a free spirit. <laughs> yeah. That's one way to put it. You two are still friends, right? I wouldn't exactly... You talk, though. Not really. Still, you're the one he called when he found the Kettleman's camp halfway up the Sandias. He was just looking out for his own client, that's all. This isn't the third degree, Kim. I really don't care one way or the other. I just... He's really forcing my hand here. 